Hey, my name is Dr. Rizak and I'm a cardiologist. Now today I'm going to be talking about the three things that I wish I knew about medical school, about becoming a doctor before I even started. Now let's just go ahead and start with the first one. It is the time and not necessarily the time, meaning the process that you need to become a doctor such as um, undergrad in medical school. I'm talking about the time away from family. Um, just with the time I've been in medicine, I've missed a lot of weddings, a lot of graduations, a lot of close family um, and friends events, just being that I was either away or needed to take significant time to study. You know, it's one of these things that we see the limelight, uh, we see the, the amazing aspect of medicine, but we don't see what the physicians are going through. I did have some insight being that my mother is a psychiatrist, but when she was away from doing the things that she wanted to do with her her family and her her, her close um, sisters and, and her mom, she was spending time with us because she needed to study, so she was studying at home. So though I had the insight, it wasn't realistic until I was out by myself. Uh, the biggest one and the one that I remember the, um, the most is missing one of my really close friend's wedding that I really wanted to be there, but I was unfortunately in a different part of the United States. The second one, the toll that it takes on your body, the, the mental health that you need, the mentality that you need, the things that goes on mentally when it means trying to become a doctor. And I saw this in different phases when I was trying to get into medical school, when I was trying to get into residency, and when I was trying to get into fellowship. Um, it is a mental struggle. Now more than ever, we know that mental health is just as important as physical health. So one of the things that I wish I would have known is to normalize mental health, normalizing not being okay. There's a lot of times that we want to tell others that we're doing fine when we're not. We don't want to express our doubts. We don't want to express our anxiety or our depression. And in the, and in the same way, we don't want to seek treatment because we look at it as a sign of weakness. But in fact, it is not. It is extremely normal. There's a concept where you think that you are the dumbest person in the classroom when the reality is that everyone has that same concept. Um, the mental aspect of medicine is one of the things that I wish I would have just gotten a lot more information about it. Uh, when my mother uh, came to America, she was already doing residency, so I wasn't able to ask her about how medical school was for her, um, so I can kind of get a little bit of insight of that. Caveat also was that my mother did medical school in um, Nigeria, so it was a lot different than in Dominica, which is um, uh, international uh, medical uh, school versus my mom was uh, actually did medical school in a foreign medical school. Differences and similarities, but one of the things that I wish I would have known a little bit better about. And the biggest one, the most important one, is the finances. We get, you know, one day maybe and some modules when it comes to loans and how to pay for medical school, but one of the things is I wish they would have stressed the importance of knowing what these loans mean, knowing what the repayment schemes mean, understanding that if you don't repay it quickly and you choose to repay it little by little over a long period of time, you are at times paying upwards to two, three times, sometimes even four times of what the loans that you took out. So those are just the things that I wish that I would have known. I would have educated myself a little bit better Though I can't be too harsh on myself, I was extremely young. I was 19, 20 years old when I, I went to medical school, but knowing, I wish I would have known that a little bit better. And I wanna try to use this platform so if anyone has any questions, I can answer it as best as possible. If you find any benefit from this video, I would really appreciate a like, a comment, and subscribing to the channel.